Had the killings in France silenced non-Muslims into submission by not talking about the Prophet Muhammad for fear of death? With me now, Harris Safar, author of Demystifying Islam, Tackling the Tough Questions, and Zudi Jasser with the American Islamic Forum for Democracy. Harris, you, you're offended by reference to the term Muslim terrorism, and you prefer simply designating it terrorism. Why is that? Well, uh, Judge, it's not a matter of being offended. It, um, I, it, if offense doesn't really bother me. What really is what our main goal is how do we undermine the ideology by which uh, terror groups like this recruit uh, the naive and, quite frankly, ignorant Muslim youth out there that think that this is some sort of higher calling. So instead of justifying and validating that this is Islamic, this is Muslim, we, we want to show that what our teachings are, the true teachings of Islam, that's Islamic, that's Muslim. And if you want to adhere yourself to something that's Islamic or Muslim, follow the path of, of tolerance, of submitting towards God and, and loving mankind as opposed to what their ideology is, which quite frankly is the antithesis of Islam. So that's the distinction is let's call Islam what the philosophy of its teachings are, not what these radical lunatics call it. Okay. So what you're saying is that the issue of jihad is something that is foreign to jihad, uh, to uh, uh, the Muslim uh, uh, religion, to Islam. So this is the, the, the great is conversation yes I have. No? That's the conversation I have. That Islam is the, is the rich faith. So Islam is the rich faith. That's a, the diverse that talks about how to relation, increase relationship with God. No, and, no, no, and no. How to, the question and that I'm asking is, you is very is, simple. And then Harris. jihad is the that component no, of excuse Islam. Excuse me, Harris. The question that I'm asking you is very simple, and that is, you are saying that in the religion, in the Islam, uh, Muslim religion, there is no call for jihad. Uh, that's what I was trying to clarify, that jihad is an Islamic concept which talks about the struggle to follow the path of Islam, to increase your relationship with God, and to defend religious freedom. And that's the misunderstanding amongst many Muslims. But does that, defending uh, it, their if you religious look at the, freedom mean subjugating, as Chowdhury no. said the other, other day, everyone other than uh, Muslims? I'll go to you, Zudi. Well, I mean, Judge and Harris, I mean, don't you think, Harris, the American public is sick and tired of hearing apologetics after they see uh, on media magazines uh, 12 people killed? They saw thousands killed by Boko Haram. They see in Saudi Arabia Islamic law used to whip liberals like myself and others who are trying to speak out in the name of Islam and get whipped. And you'll say that's not Islam and you'll have an apologetic. But the bottom line is, is the infrastructure, the corpus, the laws that they're using, are part of an Islam that's out there. And as long as you continue the apologetics and denial, you might be well-intended, Harris, but the bottom line is, is you're preventing the reforms by being in denial. We can't have the conversation, and we need an intervention if we can't have this conversation about jihad and end the entire concept of jihad because it comes from the Islamic State concept. Harris, let me ask you this. Isn't jihad mm -hmm. obligatory for every Muslim? Yes, the, 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 the great jihad of uh, purifying yourself, the greatest jihad of also defending using rationality is. So this is what I'm talking about. Instead of the rhetoric that we're, we're hearing, which is uh, about labels, far from the petty argument of labels, what I think the American public wants and deserves is how do we protect innocent lives from being killed? And so right, I agree Harris, with, uh, with my gonna, colleagues. I'm going to stop you for a second. I <laughs> got the book here, The Reliance of the Traveler, okay? This is the Bible, the law that interprets the Koran, and it says that jihad is a communal obligation, and it's the obligation of anyone, and they're talking about uh, the yes. enemy and destroying yes. the enemy and the unfaithful and the non-believers. I'm not stupid. So the, the I'm a judge. You should I can have read this. Yeah, your book you should have in front of you is the Quran. Uh, in which the jihad is perfectly uh, is clarified. But you're right. I agree with you, Judge, that jihad is perhaps the most misunderstood and manipulated uh, concept in Islam. Zudi, which is why she's I dedicated Zudi, entire, Zudi, Harris, that's she's, why I dedicated Harris, entire she's chapter of my book to clarify it, it, and confront it. Harris, you that's are right. she's reading, reading, yeah, she's the, reading the, from the Stop. Zudi, go. Harris, she's okay. reading from the leading Sharia book for Shafi School of Thought in Sunni Islam. So you can sit and Shafi tell the American schools, public yes. something. Yeah. You can tell the American public whatever you want right now, but your denial is preventing the confrontation of the imams that are that are teaching this stuff that infuses the radicalism, not only of the guys in Paris, but in Saudi Arabia, Pakistan, and elsewhere. You're we right. Have an ad I agree with we you We have there. an ad so running tomorrow the, the New York Times. We have to have a that's jihad good. against jihad, and your so 
apologetics are killing us. They're killing Islam okay. and killing Muslims right, and killing free go. people. Uh, uh, Harris, no, let me the, just say you one know thing. the track record you of us is we're Harris, confronting that ideology Quran, and we'll continue to do so. It's a responsibility of Muslims to rise up and stop groups like ISIS who cause chaos. That's your yes. interpretation of the Quran. Where does it say that? Harris? It, 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 it says very clearly in the Quran that when you see two parties of believers fighting, and you you make peace, and if one who transgresses, you fight them. They're not fighting with each them. other. They're fighting with the non-believers. Yes, they are. Oh, absolutely Zudi, not, Judge. You need so to read the news, then, Judge. Tonight. They're killing Muslims. And everybody else. <laughs> Coming up, more on the Paris attacks.